as the steel includes the design of steel and composite beams according to the AISC provisions. But how do you actually use the program in a real life example? How do you enter the information? How do you specify the loads? How do you optimize your design? How can you make sure that you are getting the lightest or the most efficient section in your design? This is Javier Encinas, and today we're gonna design completely from scratch a real life composite beam example using as deep steel. Let's get started. As an example, consider this 35 feet span beam, which is part of a second floor of a multi-story building. The first level of the building is a parking space and the upper levels are dedicated to storage with typical 10 by 10 feet a column grid. So the second floor will have a series of transfer girders to support the columns above for the storage levels. These concentrated loads represent the column loads at the upper levels. So the goal is to design the transfer girder, which will be acting in a composite action with a five inches concrete slab on a two inches metal deck. The design loads are shown in the image. The spacing between similar beams running parallel is 20 feet. Let's get started. When you open ASP Steel, you see the project manager where you can see the modules included in the package, base plates and anchorage, steel columns, steel and composite beams, shear connections, and moment connections. In this case, we're gonna design a composite beam. So we create a calculation, let's call it example. And the calculation has been added to the tree. Double click. And this is a template of the steel and composite beam design in ASDIP steel. I have already entered some of the information given in the statement of the problem. For example, I specify the span length, 35 feet. In this case, let's assume conservatively that the metal deck doesn't brace the top flange. So we click on the lateral bracing button. In this table, we enter where the uh, lateral bracing is located. In this case, it's uh, 10, 20, and 30 feet. It's a top flange only. We can see graphically the beam as we go. We click on the graph tab. So this is the beam, 35 feet span, and is laterally braced where these uh, yellow uh, dots are located at the top flange. Let's click on the slab deck tab. Here we can enter the information about the concrete slab. We know that it's a five inches total thickness. And this is an interior uh, beam, and the beam spacing is 20 feet. All this information is given in the statement. So also let's design this beam as a composite beam, and it will not be short during construction. The metal deck is two inches deep and the ribs are running parallel to the beam, so the deck orientation is longitudinal. The shear studs are three quarters of an inch in diameter. Let's click on the loads tab. Here we enter the information given in the statement of the problem. The final loads, click on uniform. We specify a dead load of 10 PSF and a live load of 150 PSF. The tributary width is 20 feet. If we click on the concentrated loads, here are the three concentrated loads given in the statement of the problem as well, represented graphically here. If we click on the construction loads, we specify 10 PSF dead and then 25 PSF construction life. The tributary width is also 20 feet. With all this information, we can start the optimization of the design. Let's go to the other glance tab this page shows a summary of the results in just one screen. Here we can see immediately that there are some deficiencies, particularly deflections. These are failing here. In addition, there's a problem with the bending capacity for the composite beam. If we click on the Condense tab, it shows a more detailed set of calculations uh, grouped by topic, also by load combination. Here we can also identify some issues that need to be corrected. Here in the deflection, there are a couple of issues. And as we saw before, there's an issue in the flexure for composite beam. If we click on the design tab, we can see a more detailed set of calculations, step by step, with exposed formulas, and also the references to the AISC code. This is intended for granular checking, step by step. 
this is for design of the composite section and this is the design for the non-composite uh, section and also the unfactored final loads and the unfactored construction loads so how do we find the required size of the beam and how do we find the required number of studs if we go to the steel beam tab we can enter the information directly here in the database we can select the beam that we want and check if it passes this is one way to do it however as it still has another feature which is the design manager if we click on the design menu then design manager here you specify the type of section in this case it's a w section and here you specify the range on, in the depth the minimum and maximum for example in this case we can specify minimum 18 inches deep maximum 30 inches deep our design will be in that range when we click on find sections the program will find all the winners all the sections that pass the design criteria and this is the list of all the sections between this range that pass the design criteria it shows the weight of the section and also the design ratio so we can sort by weight and find the lightest section and also we can sort by ratio and find the most efficient section even if it's not the lightest section so the user can select in this list the best section in this case we're going to sort by weight and say that we select for example uh, 24 by 104 and the design ratio is 0 0.92 let's select this section and now all these properties are transferred to the template and we can see here that the design ratio is 0 0.92 as we saw there so everything is passing here the deflections are passing the design for shear is passing here the flexure design for the non-composite section is passing the ratio is 0 0.39 and here the flexure design for the composite section in this case we are using 68 three quarters of an inch shear connectors and the design ratio is 0.92 also the percentage of uh, the full composite action is only 50 percent so it's a partial composite section we click on the condensed tab this is the final design everything is passing in this uh, view we click on the detail tab also everything is passing in this view of calculations and finally the graph tab shows the final shear diagram and moment diagram as you can see it's very easy to design steel and composite beams using ASIP steel in just a few minutes that otherwise would take much longer if you try to do it by hand if you like the software please visit the website www.asipsoft.com and download a free 15-day trial Please subscribe to the channel if you want to receive notifications in the future for similar videos. Thank you for your attention.